So this is just a completely random video. Uh, I haven't been making any in a while, but uh, I have a couple things in order through Summit. Um, I have a AGR Performance Steering Gearbox for the truck. It is a quick ratio, I just found out. Um, see if it were for a Chevy, they would have said quick ratio. This one just says, uh, same company makes it by the way, that you would get for the Chevy. Uh, it says 14 to 1 and you know I'm really wanting to buy it because I don't want to I don't know the old ratio and I don't know if 14 to 1 is quick and I just found out through some other show oh, yeah this is a 14 to 1 so this is gonna be real quick ratio yada 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 I'm like I'm totally ordering that one for my truck so that's an order and a new radiator I am not doing the fully aluminum one well that aluminum one um, because it's like $600 and uh, I haven't really had any cooling problems with my current radiator, so I'm just going to use the factory style one. So, all that will probably be here within the next week or two. Um, so, that's something to look forward to. Uh, yeah, so those two things together, about 600 bucks. But uh, it'll be well worth it. I can't wait to have, you know, you just barely turn it and you, you move. You know, not. Alright, so now I'm slightly going left. Like, I don't need that anymore. I got. Freaking awesome power steering now, so it doesn't have to be super easy. But, uh, anyways, that's today's video. Hey, check it out. I love doing this parking my truck in the yard. I was actually able to park the Mazda in the yard. That was weird. I thought I was going to high center it, but all good. Uh, you yeah, know, we're getting ready for like a little party thingamajigger. Kind of a neighborhood block party type thing, but. That apartment vehicles in the yard, so we have parking out there. Um, I was gonna do a completely random update on this. Uh, I've been running biodiesel. It's got still got a little bit of diesel, regular diesel in it, but um, probably going to uh, change my fuel filter at some point, probably soon. Um, and then uh, I'm going to fill up again with just straight biodiesel no mix or nothing so probably wait till this guy gets a little low on fuel down to empty and then I'll just fill it back up with the uh, bio um, but anyways I wanted to show you something with my uh, speedometer here so this is one of those digital ones right you're like oh yeah that's gonna go bad real freaking quick yeah I got 1600 miles on this thing so far after putting the gauge in I probably really only got about two 2,000 miles on this swap so far so yeah freaking retarded other than that all the other gauges still work um, my shift boot is deteriorating I think it's part of it is it didn't it either doesn't like the angle that it's at it's too, like maybe too tight or whatever um, or it didn't like all that diesel exhaust on it for the longest time. I don't, I, 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 I don't know. I can put probably wrong on that, but uh, yeah. Um, my floors, I need to. Um, the sealant stuff I put on there is peeling up, so I need to uh, probably. Someone said POR 15 or whatever. I'm, I've, someone will have to fill me in on that one. But I was thinking about just sealing it up with like Bondo or just freaking. I've got loads of. JB weld um, so I don't know maybe I'll just do that that'll grind it down and just fill it in um, air compressor still works vacuum pump still works uh, my airbags do have a small leak in them they're pretty old my dash top is I've actually been clearing that out getting some of that debris out <laughs> Uh, a long-awaited fix I still haven't done is secure this. I think I might maybe make a thing, put some, drill some holes under here and get some nice flat screws and just lock it in somehow like that. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, maybe I'll just take it to a, uh, a shop and be like, hey, can you find a way to secure this? Whatever, because I do actually want to have a different set of speakers put in this thing. You just kind of have everything redone, you know, for sound system and put a sub in, so that's something later that I'm going to do. Um, 
I still need to get a pedal pad for that. I keep forgetting to pick one up. They're really cheap. I bought, I didn't know that this brake pedal pad will also fit that clutch pedal. They're both the same size, so I bought that, and I thought that, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna need that one, because the pedal's smaller. And I'm like, oh no, I was wrong. But that one there is not for that pedal. I just put it on there and made it fit, so I got a new pad on there. That's that's nice now. Um, I still gotta put my trim in. I gotta do something about these holes. I think I wanna get some of the those little plastic things that go in. And that way when I screw it down, it'll lock it in. I've got a B in my truck. I've got to vacuum it, reseal this floor, and I need to... I don't know when I'm going to do this. Probably within the next Google paycheck. Um, I might order up a carpet and some insulation, and we'll just do this bad boy up. Quiet them down in here. Um, so i got a couple other things miscellaneous things I need to show y'all what's going on they're just little things you know it's all part of this whole conversion thing and the use of different branded parts so remember we put these things in you see how he's kind of off to the side a little bit he's not really turning anymore he's kind of just sitting where the axle wants to be um, there's actually a little metal thing that goes in behind here and yeah, you bend it around here, and then you, I guess you bend it around here or whatever, and it just keeps it from moving around, but I don't know. I think what I'm going to end up doing is get a, a set of drop brackets for this, and uh, let's see, we got a bolt and a rivet we got to have to cut, and two more rivets, okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to get this plate out of here, and I actually want to put a set of drop brackets in, like uh, for a two to three three inch lift or whatever and that'll also get me a lot more caster if I can bring that down that'll probably give me what maybe three to four degrees caster and then I won't have to freak out about that and I'll just use my regular bushings that I have and I don't have to worry about that and I probably won't put drop brackets over there maybe I will I just I don't want to do a whole lot of work um, I mean that's gonna be a lot of work in itself anyway so whatever that's a project for a later day. Um, I uh, had these extra bushings. Put these in here. And I actually like those a lot better. Instead of the tiny ones I had before. I had to peel down the grass a little bit. Oops. Uh, so I need to do the leaf springs brand new belt for myself that I bought broke um, that was completely random and then the other thing we got to fix with uh, Adams welder is we're gonna remove this both these brackets or the sway bar and drop them down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this plate over I might I'm actually thinking I'm gonna undo the whole plate itself grind all this down and we're gonna move this over so that this bushing sits or it'll let the sway bar kind of rest in a neutral position and then I'm gonna have Adam just take a, his welder and just blast this all around here and then up in here and then we'll even fill in the holes here and then I'll do the same thing for the other side that way it's all welded in and solid maybe we'll get a piece of metal and just join Join the two parts of the frame. I actually want to box the rest of this on there so that this is all nice and solid. Um, I still need to get a new steering gear. This one's getting, he's pretty tired. Um, yeah, went and got my tire fixed on the other side. I had a piece of metal in it. No oil leaks. From our 4BT, no coolant links. It's it's been nice not having to worry about fluids. The oil's still somewhat clean now that I've changed it a couple times. It's a lot happier. And one of these days I'm gonna put all new drag links and tie rod ends and new adjuster thing and majiggers. I'll do all that when I get a new gear and then have it all realigned. I'm not I'm actually not really worried about drop brackets 
for the axles. Um, I might do it if they bolt, unbolt all the way. It looks like they do. Maybe I will just do it. Putting the drop brackets in it. You know, with this extra travel, I don't hit those bump stops anymore. Those bump stops used to hit all the time, and you're like, this is terrible. I'm freaking, you know, I love that steam, this dampener, that was a nice, nice thing to add. Yeah, I'll get under here. The transmission still has a minor little drip, so it undercoats, undercoats the whole side. It might Ford 9 inch, it needs to get redone. I want to do something about those sway bar brackets. Those ones back there were for a. They were off an eight point, on a nine inch, but it like didn't fit mine quite right. It was really weird. Now, let's go to the exhaust. Let's talk about the exhaust. Now this bushing here. Oh, this guy's moving over to this side. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get drop brackets and just we're gonna take all the axles back up and just get this junk out of here. So the exhaust is kind of holding up from here all the way to there. That's all good. But up where it meets the turbo, you see how it's real tight against the firewall. Well. When I run this thing in granny first or second, I mean first or reverse, and you're really moving something and you torque it, it pushes that pipe against the firewall and it's actually kind of ruining the clamp up there. So I'm going to buy some new pieces. I'm actually going to get a new V-band adapter there and some new pipe, some new two and a half inch. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that pipe, it's going to come straight down, like right in between there somehow. It'll be a real sharp right out of the turbo. It'll come down. I'll probably have to do a few interesting bends on it. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to have to snake around a little bit to clear the firewall. And then I'm going to, right about here, is where the cat is going to go on and it's going to go from two and a half inch to three um, and then it'll go up to the cat and then right about here I think I'm going to switch it up to uh, it's going to go to actually past no it'll be three inch and then right here where all this is I'm going to change all this is going to go right to four inch I'm going to have a, a Y connector and have a pipe go that way and then he's going to go that way. And I'm going to put a shield on it because I've got those hoses right there. Which I need to check and make sure they're not leaking. I think I see something. Oh, maybe it's just grease. Let me see how many freaking clamps i got on it. Um, so anyways, yeah, he's going to go out that. So he'll go right before that tire. So I'll have dual exhaust. It'll be 4 inch and I'll get a bigger bigger tip mm. so yep well, that's that's what's going on let's see we got what else is going on on, on I cannot talk what's going on underneath the hood I freaking love this truck, man. It's great. Still got the old EC Delco belt I need to replace. It's getting a little scraggly. Um, I'm not sure, but I think that this is a a uh, a block heater. This guy right here. I'm uh, tempted to pop him out and see what what he's got going on there. Guys, that doesn't look like a temp sensor. It looks like a, uh, one of those screw-in type block heaters. Um, if it is, I'm actually going to just pop that one out, put a new one in, and have that 
ready to go because I'm going to need it for this winter. Because last year it got down to about 10 degrees and I know this thing will have a hard time starting. Yep. I love this. When the houses get like this color, they have this little, like, a f weird haze on it. That's when you know you're like, yeah, I'm not messing with that anymore. I know there was a kit. Um, now we're moving on to a whole different thing, but there's a kit uh, or something that makes a bracket that goes right here that will let you uh, put a Ford AC compressor on it. And I'm just gonna figure out what kind of belt I'm gonna use. I'll have to look around and see what people are doing because I, I really want to get AC going in this for next year. Air conditioning and stuff like that. And you can see I, my pipe leaks so it's all just black back there. I still got a lot to do on this thing. Gear vendors, overdrive I want to get in here. Oh yeah and this plate. I just completely forgot about putting this back in here so I put that in and that really uh I tightened up that fender right there. I want to redo all these connectors. So I, one of these days, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of wire and and some new heat shrinking and uh, solder. I'm going to get a better solder gun, and I'm just going to redo all the wiring, make it all into wiring harnesses and wrap it and stuff, and make it all look tidy. And I'll get some proper vacuum hose to go from there to along here and. You get that weather strip thing in there. So much, so much to do. 